Welcome to SPFL Extra this week from the Bet Butler Stadium in Dumbarton. In this week's Extra, lethal finishing, superb saves and sacred wonderkinds, we review your Play of the Year analysis. Brilliant third eyes as American soccer lady takes one for the team. And a fabulous goal from Kiss blows open the playoff battle. Remember to never miss a goal again and to stay involved with the chat, subscribe for free here. This week's topic is inspired by Kelly Tennant, who works in TV out in the US. She was doing the build up for an MLS game between Vancouver Whitecaps and the LA Galaxy, when in the middle of talking to the camera she gets hit by a football in the head. <laughs> Unlike me, Kelly managed to keep talking to the camera like an absolute pro. And it got us thinking, what's the funniest random third eye things you've seen at a game in Scottish football? There's Neil Lennon, he got hit in the groin by like a football in the game between Motherwell and Celtic. Kind of like Hans Molman in The Simpsons when he tries to make a movie. One of the best episodes, by the way. There's Billy Reid, who was celebrating a goal for Hamilton Ackies and he thought it would be a good idea to try and jump onto this thing. But I don't think he really thought it through because it collapsed and <laughs> kind of fell on his behooky. Uh, there's the referee during the Motherwell Celtic game a couple of years ago who basically just fell trying to do a quick turn of pace, which he clearly didn't have. And there's also the, that Hibs fan during the Edinburgh Derby in January when Liam Craig scored the penalty. All of a sudden this Hibs fan from behind the goal just disappears into, we don't know where, a vortex or something. Uh, we've not found him since, actually. It's not ideal. Get in touch with your favourite funny moments in Scottish football by commenting below. Or use the chat for next week's show. And as always, the best comment will win comment of the week and a copy of Football Manager. In the discussion for Young Player of the Year, there's two obvious standouts. For Connor Woodward, it has to be Andrew Robertson at Dundee United. Now this time a year ago, Robertson was playing in the fourth tier of Scottish football for Queen's Park. Fast track of the year, he's in the Scottish Cup final, he's a regular for Dundee United. And not only that, he's already gained his first Scotland cap. That's impressive in a year for anyone, let alone a teenager. Well done, Connor. For that, you've won Comet of the Week. We'll be in touch with your copy of Football Manager. The other contender is Stevie May at St Johnston, and he was suggested by Danny Harper. Stevie May, bear in mind last season, he was on loan at Hamilton and Ackies um, to basically become the talisman for St Johnston, score against near enough everyone in the Scottish league that he's played against get to a Scottish Cup final, score twice in a semi-final at Ibrox against Aberdeen and to play for Scotland under-21s as well. He's really done a lot this season. So between him and Robertson, they're both very, very good contenders. Meanwhile, in the Championship, Mark Burns thinks that Kane Hemming's contribution to Cowden Beef has gone unnoticed, and that's not fair. Hemming's joined from Rangers, and since he's joined, he's basically been rather consistent, playing to a top level pretty much every week for the Blue Brazil. For Alistair McRae, Jacob McLaren and our in-house resident Air United fan Kieran Gray, Michael Moffat has got to be a contender for League One Player of the Season. Obviously a lot of the praise will go towards Rangers players this season because of their massive points tally and the fact they've only dropped points in two games. But the goals that Moffat has scored have been fundamental to what could be a playoff position for the honest men. In League Two, Manny FC Whoop thinks there's only one contender for Player of the Season. Roy McAllister scored 30 goals for Peter Head in their march towards the League Two Championship. Not only that, he's also the top scorer in all of Scottish League football, which is a remarkable achievement. Now it's time for my favourite goals from the weekend's Premiership action. And number five is Lionel Ainsworth's consolation from Motherwell away at Dundee United. He scored a pretty good goal in August against Dundee United at Tannadice in a 2-2 draw, in which he scored from about 30 yards out. It's not quite as good as that goal, but still a pretty decent strike nonetheless. It takes a wee deflection to get its way past Jersniak. At number four is Nairo Shifty's first goal in Dundee United's 5-1 win over Motherwell at Tannadice. His quick feet allows him to get away from the defender and he curls the ball into the top corner. Number three is also from Nairo Shifty in the same game. What I like about it originally is the guy Mackay Stevens threw the ball to find Stuart Armstrong. Armstrong then delivers a beautiful little low cross to which um, Shifty scores. <laughs> That's excellent. <laughs> number two is Chris Doolan's goal for Partick Thistle against St Mirren on Friday night. It's not so much a header which I enjoy, but it's all about Callum with a K's Higginbottom's cross. Um, the next header of the boot, it's, a, it's an absolute joy. And Dylan scores a pretty decent header to finish it off. Number one for me is Philip Keisha's goal for Ross County against Kilmarnock. The fact that he takes his first time strike on the inside of his foot, curls into the bottom corner, is pretty impressive. And for me, that's why it's my favourite goal of the week. 
Bear in mind this is just my personal preference and by the time this video's gone out Celtic have played Inverness and I'm sure something exciting has happened in that game. So feel free to comment below of what your favourite goals from the weekend are. That's all for this week's SPFL Extra but remember to comment below to stay involved in the chat and to never miss a goal again subscribe for free here. Until next time I'll get rid of my tail and then I'll just be on my way so see ya if I can.